another thing with open source is that uh, it is open for anyone it does a, it does not require you to have a computer science degree to get started anyone like for example like me i had a maths background welcome guys welcome to our first podcast on the series of open source in this series we will talking about what is open source how to do open source and what are the programs available in the open source so our first guest is mr yash sharma he is a pre final year at iit khadakpur and he has been doing open source from his first year he is a two time gsoc mentee one time gsoc mentor and also one time mentee with linux foundation mentorship so he has done lot of open source in his life and along with this he has also earned around 10000 uh, dollars in his whole life in doing open source so that's a pretty huge amount and yeah so hi yes how are you great thanks jalesh for having me on board so let me introduce myself so my name is yash uh, i am an undergrad student at iit khadakpur so i am pursuing the course of mathematics and computing and apart from that i have been into open source since my freshman year so um, like that is kind of the go to hobby for me and uh, i have been like uh, been part uh, of various uh, open source mentorship programs so it's quite have uh, like quite a journey for me so i'm like looking forward to share the experience with you guys okay thank you yash so i'm start getting the basic questions hai ke open source hota kya hai और किसी बंदे को ओपन सोर्स क्यों करना चाहिए सो व्हाट्स योर टेक ऑन दिस या श्योर सो लाइक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लाइक ये जानना जरूरी है कि लाइक व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ ओपन सोर्स क्या क्या लाइक डिफरेंट पार्ट्स होता है सो फर्स्ट है कि कोई भी सॉफ्टवेयर का दो भाग होता है फर्स्ट ये होता है कि ओपन सोर्स होता है एंड सेकंड होता है क्लोज सोर्स सो इससे इसका मतलब क्या होता है सो लेट्स से विंडोज का जो कोड बेस है सो ऑफ कोर्स सब कोई उसको एक्सेस नहीं कर सकता है लेकिन लेट्स से तुम अगर लिनक्स या ओबंटू के बारे में जानते हो सो कोड बेस और दी जो उसका कोड बेस है दैट इज क्वाइट एक्सेसिबल टू एनी वन सो लेट्स से लाइक मैं स्क्रीन शेयर करता हूँ एंड कुछ रिसोर्सेज भी दिखाता हूँ सो उस हिसाब से आपको बहुत ईजी होगा टू फॉलो सो लेट मी ओपन दी फर्स्ट लिंक सो फर्स्ट इज दी कोड बेस ऑफ लिनक्स so linux ya yeah, ubuntu uh, i guess many people might have heard about it so uh, like you can have a look at the code base how it is written and how to contribute so uh, this is quite the culture of open source uh, so it actually helps you in getting to read the code base how it is written understand it and if you want to change or maybe like uh, propose a bug fix you can uh, like make one so that is the idea like uh, let me iterate on the ideas of open source so what is uh, like what does it mean for me so uh, like uh, the uh, kind of the textbook uh, definition for open source is that uh, uh, it is kind of a software where you have the source code you can modify it you can inspect it and you can like uh, change it as per your uh, wish so let's say uh, if linux uh, has a like time plugin we can uh, check out the date and time of the uh, desktop you can uh, change the uh, look of it and features add features to it so that is not possible with windows so that is one difference apart from that um, like you will uh, you can find lot of uh, open source uh, popular projects such as one is linux that i showed you another one is um, like uh, mozilla firefox and chromium so the chrome tab that uh, chrome browser that you are using so it uses chromium as the engine so like i will show you the code base of it great uh, so like uh, you can just type in mozilla github and then it will open the code base of it so it has lot of projects inside it where you can like take a look how the engine how the uh, user interface and other like nitty gritty things are uh, like implemented so that is something like i really like that mozilla has open source the code so anyone uh, like me and you can uh, understand how it is written and maybe like uh, implement your own mozilla firefox so apart from that uh, let's say uh, if you want to get started with open source if you want some uh, like beginner level issues or projects so there is this another resource that i would love to suggest so um, so uh, like the, uh, there is this repository so jalesh will add this uh, in the description of the video so there is this another repository where you can like 
like find out all the uh, issues which are kind of uh, first timers so uh, anyone who is starting with open source they can click at it and then get started with them so i i will highly suggest you to have a look at it at this another resource that i found quite helpful is this good first issue so like github actually hosts its own list of good first issues where like you can have a look let's say you are interested in front end and you want to like design quite a custom uh, user interface so like you can have a look at them also so all these are quite uh, helpful for people who are starting with open source so i will uh, like uh, quite suggest you to have a look and uh, so uh, another thing is that um, so uh, another thing with open source is that uh, it is open for anyone it does uh, it does not require you to have a computer science degree to get started anyone like for example like me i had a maths background so like of course i didn't had a computer science expertise at the start so uh, open source does not discriminate with that you can have any you can come from any background and uh, like you, you can get started with it and uh, the only uh, learning curve is that uh, uh, there are online res resources with, uh, which you can refer and get started so this is quite the beauty of open source and uh, mm -hmm. like another point that i would love to add is that um, let's say uh, if you get a job with software engineering like how do you work and how do you like uh like understand how the things are like uh, made so the uh, surprising part is that uh, uh, software engineers they don't write code all all the time there are a lot of things associated with it so like meetings how do you talk with a fellow software engineer and how do you uh, like uh, conduct meetings and let's say if you haven't heard about github so github is another place where you manage all the software so like uh, we can push our uh, code in uh, in the github repositories and then you can create some issues pull requests so that uh, different people can review your code and make suggestions so uh, it's quite a like a pandora of opportunities if you get started with open source so i would uh, like highly suggest you uh, and if you uh, love to take part in software engineering learn more about it but you don't have a, a cs background so this is quite the ideal candidate uh, kind of thing for you Okay, yes. So yeah, that's pretty much about okay, what is open source and why one should care about open source. So yeah. now moving towards the next question, how one can start, how a college student start his journey as an open source and how he can proceed further. So how would you suggest a first year right or second year right to start their journey in open source? Yeah, this is a great question. So like um, I kind of remember my uh, like the freshman year where I, when I started with the college. So I used to read Quora a lot. So there was this one answer from Himanshu Mishra. So he's kind of an alum from our department. So he kind of wrote a, a quite a good blog about what is open source and how does IT Kharagpur has a good uh, like clubs and societies to help you out with that. So I kind of uh, like quite uh, got uh, kind of appreciated that uh, like seniors from our colleges and fellow students, they are helping to maintain a club where you can uh, like uh, learn more about open source, like, contribute and like help other people. So I would suggest you to get hold of college societies uh, uh, such as like uh, I am in uh, Kharagpur Open Source Society where like we uh, try to help others uh, with the open source issues and I think many colleges do have their, them. If you don't have, then maybe it's a good opportunity for you to start one. So like you can ping me personally to get more idea about it. So that is one thing. Apart from that, okay. um, like you can uh, follow Twitter. So Twitter is uh, quite a good res resource. So like you can find many open source people who are quite popular and they kind of uh, have their own YouTube channels, ch channels where they uh, like, uh, regularly post different uh, aspects of open source how what is git what is github how to get started so uh, i i would uh, like definitely suggest you to follow a, uh, any one of them so one popular guy which i kind of remember is uh, kunal khushra so i will add the description in the yeah so like you can have a look and he's quite a popular guy and he has uh, like lot of youtube uh, resources with, which you can refer so apart from that let's say um, if you are shy if you don't want to ping a person uh, in the social social media so maybe you might have uh, like 
<coughs> seniors from your college um, who have been into GSOC, uh, Google Summer of Code, and other mentorship programs. So uh, feel free to like ping them and get more insights about how to get started because the advice of seniors is really helpful. Like for me personally, uh, uh, like I found the advices from senior quite helpful. So I will uh, definitely suggest you uh, for this. And uh, another thing is that uh, uh, you can use GitHub as a uh, kind of a pseudo Google for you. So let's say you want to learn anything about uh, operating systems or let's say web development or JavaScript or Python or anything uh, like that. So you can uh, like uh, type out github.com and then there is the search, search button where you can uh, like type in all your queries and GitHub has good resources which you can refer. So I will definitely suggest you for uh, like having a look at it. So this is another thing. And uh, you can ping me personally in LinkedIn. So let's say if you have any queries, I will be like quite happy to answer uh, all of your queries. And I will be adding a, a blog post that I wrote, uh, which kind of uh, helps you getting started with open source. So I will definitely uh, like paste a link for this. So thank you, Ash. Uh, now we know ki what we have done, a banda kaise karna chahiye, kya karna chahiye, and how he should approach. So can you share some links or some like what all opportunities available for the college going students in open source? So uh, what all programs are there and what all fellowships are there to what which a college student can part take part in? Yeah, so like I will share my screen and like there will be few resources which you can refer. So there is this uh, open source. Um, uh, repository where you can have a look. So uh, I will add this in the description. So it contains list of all the programs uh, which help you uh, to get started with open source contribute and mentorship programs. Uh, there is the stipend column where you can like have a look if they pay the students some stipend while working during the summer. And apart from that, um, there are a lot of university summer of code programs which you can have a look. So these are quite helpful for people uh, who are quite new to open source. So let's say you don't know the basics of web development and uh, Python and machine learning. So uh, all these uh, programs have their own uh, like mini projects or more like pet projects of different uh, people. And you can contribute to them and get more idea about how to contribute to a kind of a uh, repository and how to interact with people outside of your uh, knowledge. So let's say you can approach a stranger, but at the same time, since this is open source, they will be quite helpful to like help you out with this. So I will definitely recommend. So like uh, in IT Kharagpur, we have this Kharagpur Winter of Code where we had around 2000 students uh, taking part in it. So I will definitely suggest you to take a look. So um, another thing is that let's say if you like know how to get uh, like contribute to open source and all the uh, uh, the different uh, techniques to get started. So you can have a look at these uh, famous programs which are quite uh, like uh, famous and they actually help you to work on a real world project. So one of them is the GSOC or the Google Summer of Code where you get paid around I guess 3000 which we will talk in the next video. Uh, in a more detailed manner. Another is the uh, uh, MLH fellowship. So I think it should be there, but you can have a look later. So those uh, are also like those pay you really well to work during the summers. Another is the Linux Foundation internships uh, where you get uh, get to work with uh, Linux, uh, Linux backed projects. So let's say uh, it might be Linux or um, like cloud native uh, computing foundation projects. So those are kind of cloud computing based projects where you can have a look. So these are quite uh, like famous and they help you provide an edge uh, with your uh, fellow uh, people. So I will definitely recommend you to have a look. GSOC ke liye kaise prepare kare ke kya kya hota hai, kaun kaun se comp like pre competitions ya summer of winter of course jo hota hai, unme part jo humne pehle last video mein discuss kara hai, uske alawa aur kya kya kare banda? और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की लिस्ट वगैरह कहां मिलेगी उसको वो सब थोड़ा बता दे कि कैसे हो सकती है चीजें ओके यश थैंक यू सो मच फॉर शेयरिंग लाइक हाउ वन कैन स्टार्ट हाउ वन शुड स्टार्ट इन ओपन सोर्स एंड हाउ वन शुड स्टार्ट इन व्हाट आर द अपॉर्चुनिटीज अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट फॉर हिम सो 
guys in this video discuss about all these what is open source and all those things in the coming video we'll be discussing about yash ex experience with uh, two times menti with google summer of code and uh, how was the experience with linux foundation and what all what was the admission process or what are the what is sops and all those things in the will be covered in the next part so thank you guys thank you for watching and you can subscribe to ic2c handles and all the things that we have discussed in this video links will be provided in the description thank you so much